Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany. We're in this video. I'm once again participating in Tassel Tuesday, which is an open collaboration hosted by Creating with Jovi. And her channel will be linked below. And she makes sure to always link other participants. But if you would like to participate, all you have to do is make a tassel and show us, you know, on your video and put the hashtag Tassel Tuesday, just like in the title of my video. So what you're looking at is uh, the inspiration for today's tassel. I don't know that I'll use these today, probably won't have time, but because um, of course I'm working at the last minute again. <laughs> but these items uh, were picked up last week um, at Goodwill. It was a little bag that contained all these items that was half price. So it was marked at $149, so I got it for $0.75. Cents. And I thought, awesome. This I, When I saw this, now these were wrapped around the card. I've already pulled it out and made a mess out of it. But um, this inspired me uh, for the tassel. I said, oh, wow, all those fibers go well together. They're about the same color. Wouldn't they make a pretty tassel? So that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be another super simple one. And... Um, yeah, so let's get started. So I also found in my stash this uh, purple wire. It's a little thick gauge, but I think it'll work because I have um, big hole beads. And then these little hooks um, that are also purple, so I thought I'd use those. Well, it's several hours later. I wasn't able to finish this this morning. I ran late. had to go to work. Um, I decided to lay out the the trim so you could see them individually and like I said these all came on one card and um, I have roughly folded them to size just basically just folded them in half and then half again and this is kind of what happened so yeah and I think that's about what I'm, how I'm gonna leave it and I'll just clip up what clip off whatever is extra um, I'm not really particular about how I do this. I think it all ends up getting mixed up anyway, but that's pretty. I know some of my friends, you know, they'll cut them and arrange them, and I don't do that so much, um, or I'll do it after the fact. I also thought I would add a pretty piece of lace. I did that in one recent, um, tassel and I really liked it and of course where have my scissors gone here they are right in front of me okay so I'm going to use a piece of lace and that's more pink I want to stay with the purple and that's going to be it just this you know not very fluffy kind of simple um, maybe I don't need to cut like all of those loops at the bottom so let me just do that because now that I'm looking at it I might want to rearrange different strands so let's do that let's do that okay all the loops didn't cut off I'm making a big mess why because I feel I still feel like I'm in a hurry I don't <laughs> well that's okay because tassels if you want to just feel the satisfaction of making a quick project tassels are actually a good way to go you can put together a tassel super quick. I mean, you don't even have to do everything that I'm gonna do here. You can just, you know, grab some pretty laces, pretty strings, pretty um, trims, yarns, whatever, and lay them out and tie them off, hair cut them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I am cutting the, the loops after all because I just finished saying, right, I don't really arrange them and things, but I think I want to arrange a little bit so everything's not clumped together, you know? <laughs> okay, the eyelash trim's got a loop there and a loop there. Okay, perfect. That's good enough for me. Maybe a few here. And I, actually, I think... I want the uh, lace to kind of hide a little bit under. Okay, all right, let's see how that works. All right, and now, um, if you can see, I have some beads here. I really loved the beaded tassel I did last time. So I want to do another one. So I hope that it's not boring. 
<laughs> to see me do basically the same thing. But you know, it's always different because you got different materials, different beads, different struggles. Apparently, I'm struggling with on doing this thing. Okay, all right. Let me just pull it out like this. Isn't this pretty? Now this is really, really soft wire. It is thicker than um, I think the wire I used last time, but. So I might do things a little bit differently with this. What am I doing? I'm not gonna cut it with the scissors. Um, I found that this little cuticle uh, that works really well for soft wire. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is, instead of doing it in the middle, because this is a thicker wire, I'm gonna take one end of the wire and do this like that and wrap it around this way so do my wire wrapping here and I'm going to hide that wire wrapping inside of this pretty bead cap and that's going to be the top of my tassel I'm not gonna do the tie off here I'm just gonna do that look how cute I like it already so it is a little bit clumped up let me see if I can move them around all right that's fine Oh, it is what it is. This will be the clumped up style. <laughs> Did my bead cap fly off? Where did it fly to? Did you see where it went? All right, well, I don't know if this is the same one or if I'm grabbing another one, but okay. Now I'm going to pick some pretty beads and look at all these beautiful purple beads. This one's more like a button, but let's get a um, pretty purple bead. Oh, yeah. And then maybe another... I want to see if there's like a small spacer, maybe like this. And just do like a silver, purple, silver pattern. So this is like a little cube almost. And then this is just a... All right, there we go. Now, I don't want to go too high up because I think that is nice enough like that. Maybe one last kind of a little crown on here. Don't have a bead cap that would fit that big bead but something like this there we go now like i said this is very soft but i'm gonna go ahead and make a loop to hook onto my um i want to make it kind of big but you know what i really liked the wire wrapping i did on the other one I should probably be holding this let me use this one it's easier to hold it so i'm gonna just hold this up here and I'm going to do some wire wrapping on these two. Oh, I'll just hold up my fingers. It feels easier. So I'm going to wire wrap there. Oops. Because I have all this wire left. I'm going to wire wrap down to this one. Do I have room to go all the way down? No, because I need to do the loopy, looping up there. So I'm just going to go back up there. There we go. And see the looping? I mean, I need to close this out. So I pull the loop up and then bring this wire around. And this is also a reason. It, it also helps to have more than one pliers because that way one of them can hold your project and the other one can uh, help you tighten your wire or do a little bit more detail work. So that's what this is. That's what I'm doing with this clamp it there there we go make sure that it's not gonna poke anything and there it is look how quick and easy and then this is really cool because it's also a little purple hook so let me bring you in a little closer and it just basically hooks right on there and it's got this little end down at the bottom that I can squeeze a little bit so that it doesn't come out mean squeeze in yep and you could pull it out if you wanted to but you know I don't want it to just come out so, and there we go look at that it's a little tassel another bead top tassel oh I guess you can only see the wire wrapping on one side so this is the front and there you go 
So sorry for those of you who anxiously await Tassel Tuesday and I didn't have my video uploaded this morning. Um, like I said, I, I kind of ran late, so, but it's still Tuesday, it's not the end of the day. So if you still want to participate, it's not too late. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this tassel and I hope you have a blessed day. Goodbye.